If you are a frequent runner, it's important to wear the correct shoes. You may be tempted to throw on any pair of trainers and head straight outdoors. However, not all sneakers are designed for running. Wearing the wrong shoe may hamper performance and may even increase injury to the lower limbs, such as arthritic joint damage. Hi viewers, and welcome back to Bestie! Most people don't realize the importance of investing in good shoes, especially for running, and in today's video, we'll tell you why. From preventing injuries, better performance, to providing arch support and more, watch till the end to learn about all of them. Number 1. Prevents Injury In many cases, running shoes can help prevent certain types of injury. In fact, it is suggested that the midsole cushioning and arch support can prevent overuse injuries such as tendonitis, stress fractures, and joint pain. Though barefoot running, running without foot covering, has increased in popularity over the past few years, the risk for cuts and scrapes is high. The outside protection offered by the shoes reduces injury to the feet. Have you ever been injured because of bad running shoes? Tell us quickly down below in the comment section. Number 2. Prevents Sore Feet and Blisters If you wear any other kind of shoes while running, you'll end up with blisters on your feet. Even picking the wrong type of sock can make your running experience worse. For example, cotton socks are a major taboo among runners because they cause friction. If something as seemingly inconsequential as socks can have a huge impact on your feet, think about what the wrong shoes can do. Number 3. Improves Performance Good quality running shoes provide a well-shaped, snug fit customized to your feet. They also make your feet feel lighter as you run. When you're not wearing the right shoes, your heels rub, creating blisters. This is not the case when you've got the correct running shoes. Also, choosing the best pair for you comes down to pronation. Pronation simply means the degree your foot rotates toward the inside during your run. All runners fall into two categories. Some have too much pronation, which means their feet rotate too much while running, and some don't have enough. That's why it's important to visit a shoe store that specifically sells running shoes. These days, many sports stores offer in-store assistance. Their staff is generally quite knowledgeable, and they'll even let you run around in the shoes before making the final purchasing decision. Number 4. Better Fit Good running shoes will provide one thing, a snug and well-shaped fit that's tailored to your foot as much as possible. They'll also make your foot feel lighter because of how well it takes to the shape of your foot. The problem that is caused by rubbing your heel against the wrong kind of shoe won't happen when you get the right pair of running shoes. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. Stay up to date on all our great bestie content. Number 5. Midsole Foot Cushioning Midsole cushioning is one of the most important benefits of running shoes. As suggested by the name, the midsole is the area between the ball and heel of the foot. The foot cushioning provided by running shoes can reduce some of the stress placed on the heel, ankles, and toes during a run. This makes the activity more comfortable and safer. Appropriate cushioning can also help prevent knee, hip, and back pain as it improves body mechanics. Number 6. Arch Support Arch support is a must for individuals with flat feet, especially if they participate in regular exercise. Runners with flat feet should consult a physical or exercise therapist for recommendations. While flat-footed runners may experience the greatest benefit from arch stability, even those with high arches can benefit from the right kind of support. Moving on, let's give you a few tips on how to buy running shoes. Number 1. Choose a running-specific shoe Running shoes may look like other sneakers, but they contain specialized technology to help you run. In running, your foot hits the ground in basically the same way with each step. Unlike sneakers, running shoes are designed to prevent injury from that repetitive motion by offering specific cushioning to aid in shock absorption. They also have design features to help you move forward with greater ease. Number 2. Choose the right type of running shoe Running shoes are designed with specific purposes in mind. You should choose your running shoes based on what kind of running you want to do. Everyday running shoes are usually the most versatile option. They can handle all the running that most people generally do. They are also the most durable. The next ones are lightweight running shoes. These are best for faster workouts or races, although they are less durable and less cushioned than everyday shoes. Finally, there are trail running shoes. These are best for running on dirt and rocky trails. They have lugs on the bottom which provide better grip on dirt and rocks. They typically have a more durable upper. Number 3. Know what you're paying for When it comes to running shoes, a higher price tag usually correlates with more technology and comfort features, but that 
doesn't mean you have to buy the most expensive shoes in order to enjoy a run. In a similar vein, opting for a very inexpensive pair may mean that the shoes aren't designed with running in mind and may not hold up to the demands that running places on them. Quality running shoes generally range from about $100 to $250. You should expect to pay in the $110 to $150 price range for running shoes that are very well suited to most runners' daily needs. Number four, consider your current level of fitness and future fitness goals. Even if you're not training for a marathon and don't have distance in mind, it's important to understand how you've used your shoes in the past and how you want to use them in the future. If you're a new runner, you should consider shoes that are a little more protective because you're probably still figuring out your form and want to reduce the risk of injury. On the other hand, if you've been regularly running 10 to 20 kilometers a week, you should consider shoes that are designed for more stability and performance. Number five, your stride while running. According to the experts, understanding your running style and gait is the most crucial thing you can do when buying new shoes. Running starts with your feet, so if your lower body is already misaligned, each step becomes a potential opportunity for injury. Wearing the right shoes that are properly aligned with your feet sets you off on the right path for lasting and healthy training. Consult with a podiatrist, physical therapist, or running shoe expert to get your gait analyzed. They'll tell you whether you're a neutral, underpronated, or overpronated runner. With good running shoes, you can reap all the benefits of running. Learn about all of them by watching Run Every Day and see what happens to your body. Now back to why good running shoes are important and how to buy the perfect ones. Here are some common mistakes to avoid when buying running shoes. Number one, buying for looks. Some people are too concerned with fashion and they should steer away from that when buying running shoes. Often when they get a shoe that looks cool, they might end up getting hurt. Well, physically of course, because of the shoes. When you buy, think, feel, and fit, not fashion. Number two, asking for deals. When you're ready to pay, ask if there's any discounts available for running club members. Most specialty stores offer discounts from 10 to 20%. Some also offer special discounts to their local track club. Number three, buying shoes that are too small. Tight-fitting shoes lead to blisters and black toenails. This may apply to some women who can be more susceptible or self-conscious about the size of their feet. Play the piano with your toes, meaning the fit should be roomy enough, about half an inch, but not sloppy. Number four, shopping at the wrong time of day. A lot of times you may buy shoes in the morning and realize they're too small in the evening. This is because your feet start swelling in the morning and they don't stop until about 4 p.m. That's as big as they're going to get, so always buy your shoes in the evening. Number five, assuming your size. People assume that a size is a size, that an eight in a Nike will be the same as an eight in a New Balance. But sizes differ because of different foot forms and the way the shoe is stitched together. Have your feet measured every time you buy and always try the shoes on for fit. While running in the correct shoes can be very beneficial for your body, you won't get all the benefits without coupling it with a proper diet. Learn more about the healthiest foods you should eat by watching, 50 healthiest foods you should eat regularly, or 20 nutritious foods you should be eating every day. So go ahead and watch one or both of these videos for maximum benefits. What's your favorite heart-healthy activity? Let us know in the comment section below.